Good morning, everyone. I would say it is bright and early and 6.45 in the morning, except it is not bright at all. <laughs> um, there's not even a hint of dawn yet, actually, which kind of surprises me. But, I mean, every year when the daylight changes, it surprises me, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, originally, I was only supposed to work 11 to 3 today, only four hours, and I was like, okay. And on my way out the door yesterday, they said, hey, can you work seven to three instead? And I was like, eight hours, sure. And then as soon as the word sure had left my mouth, I was like, no, I don't want to get up at seven. I don't want to be at work at seven. But I said sure, so now I don't have a choice. <laughs> oh well. I need to make up for the $130 that I missed out on last week when I was sick. Um, yeah. Also, my apologies for not vlogging the past few days. It's been a busy few days, so I'm gonna try and do better today. There's more stuff going on today, so yeah. Oh, please. Barnes & Noble has a section just for Christian-based fiction books. Some of these look really good. Some of them look really cheesy. So I'm actually in Barnes & Noble right now because we, me and some buddies just met and we're looking at getting an apartment, uh, renting a house together. And since I was here, I was like, oh, I might as well look at some books. The author I was looking for, I don't see in here, and they told me they don't carry the specific book of his that I was looking for, but I was wondering if they might have any of them, his books. I guess I could probably asked, but I don't see it. They have some really big study Bibles here. They have Lindsey Sterling's yes. newest album on vinyl. We're going to Qdoba. Going to have fun? Ah, uh, yeah! Look at that sun. That is the moon right there. Look at that. Big old moon coming up over the mountains. This is not a sight you get to see anywhere but Alaska. Well, maybe some places. But it's best in Alaska. This time of day has always been one of my favorite times of day, and that is just after twilight, just after the sun goes down. So it's like, it's dark-ish out, but it, you know, it's still bright enough that I can, you know, see with my camera too. And like, we get the nice outlines of the buildings against the sky, the sky, the nice outline of the skyline against the sky. It looks really neat and I really like it. And I appreciate it. Back at it again with another beautiful sunset. Look at this one. Got Mount Readout. We got, I believe it's Mount Spur. It's not really showing. Oh, there it is. It's this one right here. Um, those are both volcanoes. They're about the same size, but this one is about, this one is about 80 miles farther away than Mount Readout, which is the big one right there. Um, we also got some bigger mountains over there, but you can't see them because there's trees in the way. Yeah. Um, so you know how I was complaining about how I didn't want to move? Turns out that's been solved. I don't have to move now. Um, so I was out today hanging out with my friends, Josh, Alan, Daniel, and Clayton. Uh, I had just met Clay Clayton, actually, but they're gonna be my roommates now. We're getting a four bedroom house. We're gonna split the master bedroom into two bedrooms, sort of. Um, we're, so I get to stay in Eagle River area. I'm actually moving out that way about 20 miles or so um yeah but my rent is only gonna be like five it, it was like 460 a month is the rent and then plus utilities and internet and everything um i'm gonna end up paying like 590 or so total for a house of my own with a fireplace and some friends um uh, josh and alan are really good friends of mine Alan uh, did the trying Czech foods video with me. You can click on that thumbnail right there to go see that video. And Josh did the Mount Baldy hike with me. You can click on the thumbnail right there to go see that video. Um, yeah, so we're going to be getting a house and it's going to be awesome. And I don't know if you guys can see me or the sunset in the background. I'm hoping you can. Maybe you can't. The other thing, I had I mentioned it earlier in the video, but look at the moon. It's really big today. I mean, it's the same size, but it looks really big. 
and uh, I just missed getting home in time to catch the sunset on the mountains. Oddly enough, it's only about 8 p.m. right now. It's about 7.45, actually, really. Um, so, and I had coffee. <laughs> Made the mistake of having coffee at 4. Uh, a big one, like a 22-ounce one, I think. Oops. Well, because of that, I'm going to be up tonight making some videos. i got to work tomorrow for six hours. Um, I'm also going to apply to be a lifeguard on base, on the military base, because if I can get that job... That'll be a $4 pay raise from what I'm making right now for a much easier job in a much easier setting. So, like, why would I not do that? So last night I went with a friend of mine to UAA and we went to his history of film class and this semester they're doing the history of suspense and thriller films and we watched the 1944 The Uninvited which is a ghost movie and there's a 2009 remake of it and I brought it up to the teacher who's a friend of mine after the class and he suggested that I watch it and tell him how it is so I'm gonna watch it. I got some popcorn in the microwave right now but I can't hear if it's going off yet. Maybe it is. Got that sink going in the background. Oh, it is. Yeah. It fogs up the window every time it turns around. Oops, now it's switched to actual time. Like Jeffrey Dallas's popcorn button video. <laughs> Have you seen that video from um it's by Julian Smith, or in this case, it's Jeffrey Dallas. It's the popcorn button. Nope. I'll show it to you. It's like four minutes long. You know what What's that? That Jeremy Henshaw really likes the song, What Does the Fox Say? Oh, yeah? Yes. And I have a line to show him. He downloaded it and watched it like 30 times in a row when it <laughs> first came out. And I was like, seriously? Are you serious? And he's like, yeah. I'm not ashamed to say it. I like that song. Like, okay. <laughs> I'll talk to him at church on Sunday then. <laughs> I got a line to show him. Okay, good. 